Hi, my loves. Hasina here. Long time no see. Um, it's it's been a while. Uh, I have been thinking about whether or not to do a video. Um, I thought that it would be best to not do a video at the start of everything that's been happening. I just think energetically it was more important to anchor and give space and allow space for folks to feel, just be in their feelings without a lot of extra noise. Um, however, I felt like today it was important to to start speaking again. I don't even really know exactly what what to say. Um, as we're all aware, a lot is going on in, um, in our world. And while I never choose to get very specific because we are all here, we can all see, we can all hear, we can all in feel, vibe, notice. Um, I've written some things online at the start. And sorry, I'm gonna chew too. Um, about just being aware of your energy, being aware of your place, being aware of where you stand. Also being aware that oftentimes you're not given space to notice that. So you have to take that space. Please use these times for rest. Please use these times for meditation. Um, we all have our part. Um, so if you are being more active, Make sure you find those times for those things too so you can build more clarity. Um, what I will say is I think that it is incredibly important to get very comfortable in knowing what your energy is. And that's why you need to do those things, those moments of rest, those moments of meditation, those moments of grounding, of being in your body. Because right now, with so much occurring, sometimes some of the people that we've gone to for insight and advice um, their messages may not quite resonate in the same way. Um, their messages may be cloudy. Um, and they may not be aware of it, even this message. So it's really important that you get in your side yourselves to know what your energy is so you can build your intuition and build your discernment. Because we need to also remember, and I, I've said this online a few weeks ago, um, that your those that you look to for your for their insight and advice, um, they are still a part of this environment. And whichever ways they've embodied that, those can lead to blind spots. So they may not see all that is necessary to see or be able to see all through a perspective other than their own. So while you can still look to them, you need to have clear understanding of what your energy is and what you're looking for. And so that you can find the messages that are for you. That's how you know how to be of the correct help. That's how you know how to be of the correct impact and correct and subjective. Um,
it's just incredibly important right now always and right now um i'm not gonna make this long i just think build your discernment build just your, your discernment it is okay to have fear these are understandable times to have fear but do not make decisions based on your fear um, do not let fear become the leader in your decision making in in your movements in how you interpret your reality just be incredibly mindful be incredibly mindful be aware that not everything is as appears as it not everything is as it seems and that is a good thing a bad thing everything in between it's not nothing's ever bad but what i'm saying is i mean things are bad there are things that are bad but not in terms of what i'm talking about right now not everything is as it seems not all energy is the same Look up energy, entities, thought forms. Look up clearing. If it's too much, just sit down and meditate. Just dance and meditate. Just go for a walk. Just breathe. You have more wisdom than you know. You have more, more wisdom than you know. You have more wisdom than you know. That's it. That's all for now. You are loved, you are cared for. People over things. You are loved, you are cared for. One love.